Well, folks, it's that time of year again. Ghosts! Ghouls and goblins. Dracula. Witches abound. You're going to have people knocking on your door. Halloween. To all of you dumb Christians out there, that's a day in my honor. Is Halloween a truly innocent celebration, or does it have a darker side? The danger of the possession of little children by fallen angels. So when you have little goblins on your window, you are saying, I approve. These demons seek out ventricles and nubile coronary muscles, much like they were the heartworms of hell. Because in ignorance, your little children will go out into the streets and have a unclean devil you can think, conjure up, or smell will be out there waiting for your little girl or boy dressed up like a little puppy or a little prince. While working one day at the drugstore that I clerk at, one of my customers came in and she revealed to me the true nature of Halloween. You know how many times your child says trick or treat with their saints? They are chanting, literally, that if you don't give us a virgin, we'll hurt you. Halloween is evil. You know what all this means? Yes. Because it is demonic. Uh, it is wrong that you're bringing up these children yes. to this sort of sure. thing. Right now, billions of invisible demons lurk around the world seeking to steal away compromised souls. Now, demons can wander as they wish and get into people. In the spirit world, in the spirit realm slightly above your head, maybe in your bathroom stall, is a battle being raged over your soul. You have to be ready. And when you look outside, it's evident that these spirits are loose on that day. Why, why do these demons do what they do? Why do these horrible abominations do what they do? I'll tell you, okay? They do what they do because they want the breeders of the world to become queers. Every demon knows that gay souls don't go to heaven, and that's why. That's why they're doing this. You have to be ready. Once you look outside, it looks like a big parade of demonology all over the place. Orgies and sacrifices. All these things are a part of this day. Don't falter. This is war. Never leave yourself open. Question everything. Don't think any inanimate object is innocuous. Toss out your scented candles. Check all of your bread for mold. On the 31st, when those little possessed imps come to your door and ring your, ring your doorbell, give them Bibles. And don't tell them what they're doing down in San Francisco in the Bohemian Grove. Actually, on second hand, buy more Bibles and fill your house with them. Sprinkle the pages with garlic powder, especially Leviticus. It's my favorite chapter. Read. During this interval, the normal order of the universe is suspended. The barriers between the natural and the supernatural are temporarily removed. The seed lies upon a pond, excuse me, the seed lies open and all divine beings and the spirits of the dead move freely among men. And uh, be ready. Put on your holy armor. You can't let your guard down. In Halloween, have nothing to do with it. Praise the Lord. Maranatha. Halloween! Blood sacrifices. Fresh Christian meat.